Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the theme park a cra a crabulator. What is that? <laughs> so, um, apparently, I can't even get my title correctly. It is I, the theme park evaluator, Joseph Gregory Pajak. That's the one. That's a good take. Oh, seriously? I'm going to keep this in on myself? Boy, I'm kind of an idiot. Um, anyways, welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I'm not entirely sure if this is something that you folks would like to see, but uh, I've done a lot of uh, watching on YouTube um, about Planet Coaster, and I figured, huh, I have Planet Coaster. I've played approximately 50 hours, as you can see right over here, and the thing that I've been watching on Planet Coaster has been uh, this uh, Channel 5, and I want to thank Albert Stachowiak for showing me this channel. It's a pretty darn good channel. However, however, this uh, channel is run by this guy named Johnny Five Alive, and he always is talking about how his frame rate is constantly cr like crashing, how his computer's being destroyed, and it, it is a good thing that you want to have your show be as spectacular as possible. But I'm watching everything that he's doing and I've realized that his frame rate is almost impeccable. I mean, whether or not he has to go all the way down to, uh, you know, the minimum of graphics in order to run a huge park, that doesn't really matter to me. And, oh, oh, hi there, King Coaster. How's it going? And, oh my goodness, you had to go and kick that world, huh? Well, that's what you do, I guess, when you're a king. But, uh, anyways, so, this Johnny Five Alive, he's talking about how he feels bad that he has to bring the graphics down so very, very low in order to have this 60 frame rates, or 60, you know, frames every single second. And I'm just thinking, what would be the opposite of that on YouTube? How about one frame a second? Maybe even less.
Jenners. But that is a huge Ferris wheel, and wow, we have even a, a piece of the building floating up here. So that's pretty cool. Let's go through the Ferris wheel. Wee! <laughs> oh, so that is really cool up here. I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can uh, get to the coaster from uh, down here. I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to get stuck inside of anything again. That was not fun earlier. And it doesn't look like there's a way of doing it. But just look at all this detail. That is so much effort that has to go into this. Ah! What just happened? Where are we? Let's just turn the camera around. Okay, so we're way out in the boondocks. Because apparently the camera's decided that, uh, screw you, Joe, I'm going home. <laughs> it does that sometimes. So. Oh my gosh, what's going on? What's going on? Are we going through the... I think we're okay now. I think we're okay. Yes, there's the park. Ah, are we going farther away again? No, I don't want to go farther away. I want to go closer. Closer to the park. Yes, we are um, at the park again, pretty much. Oh my goodness, we're through a tree again. How about this? Quit twirling! Oh my goodness! I. Ah! Okay, can we get back to the park now? Just taking my fingers off of everything and hoping the world stops moving. Once it stops moving, then hopefully I can do this. Hopefully this uh, works. That is not what I meant to do, but it, it seems to be like the best choice right now. Okay, I'm letting go. Hopefully, now we can just go like this. Whee! Zooming mode. No, 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 no turning. No turning. Oi. But again, just look at that aerial there. It's beautiful. Okay, let's go in. Said forward. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why he's doing this to me, folks. I really don't. Forward is away from Joe. Joe is towards back of screen. I want to go forward. Seriously, why? Is this backwards all of a sudden? I don't get this. Well, 
something's gone screw with my uh, controls. I think the computer is literally now starting to melt. Okay, so apparently the buttons are backwards now. Which is just stupid. Because I didn't even go into any settings in order to switch them. I have capital locks on, no. What the hell just happened? And now everything just wants to work again. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. Go through the mountain. Let's go. I want to get to the park. Ta da! Park! It shouldn't be this hard to go into a theme park. <laughs> but that's what happens when you have such a slow frame rate. Ha ha! Yes, we're moving forward! Ha 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 ha! back here, which it shouldn't have taken nearly that long to get back here, it took like three minutes, and ooh, what's that down there? Yeah, that looks awesome, but what I was referring to is actually over here. This little guy. And of course, I click it and I go flying to somewhere else. But this little guy right here and there it goes come back no no not the coaster oh the little thing yes there we go. Got it. Okay, so this ride isn't actually uh, open. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe we should try it out. Maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. It's in test mode. This may not be a good idea. I don't know. off the ground a little bit. I'm not sure. Yes, we are raising off the ground a little bit. So that's good. And uh, I'll also be speeding this up when we're uh, in post. So let's see how this works. I hope
hope that it works out pretty well. Aw, you hear the little birdies? I think they go tweet, tweet, tweet. That's nice, I never heard the little birds before. So, besides us going up just a little bit, are we going to be doing anything? I'll take that um, disembodied noise to say yes. Yes, here we go. We're, we're, we're going, we're going. I, I think the main issue is just this wonderful, wonderful industrial park is just so big that my computer just can't handle it. I mean, it's going. <laughs> But, I mean, this is just a nice little, um, almost like one of those uh, rangers or kamikazes um, that you would find at uh, carnivals. So, I mean, I appreciate that they have placed that type of stuff into this game, because I love those attractions. I mean, uh, they have a zipper inside of this game, so just nothing but praise for the game and uh, still I have nothing but praise for this park the only thing that I do have to have a little bit of a complaint about sorry I've got to have one somewhere is that uh, well from what I've noticed your rides are not connected to any path which that means nobody can ride them. So, you have 10,000 people in your park just standing there doing absolutely bupkis. That's not a good thing. You want the people to be able to enjoy the park. You want them to be able to get on the rides. Sure, it might take them 15 hours to find their way through this game because my computer is super slowpoke right now. But that's not the creator's fault. The creator must have a much better machine than I do. If not much better, at least better. <laughs> and that's all that really matters. No, I lied. What really matters is that you can play the game. Which I can. You guys can clearly see that. The game is running. It is such a wonderful frame rate of almost a frame about every two seconds. I don't know if that actually, uh, if the game is uh, actually showing me every single frame. I mean, right there. I mean, we're going, we're going faster. Oh my goodness, have we not gotten about halfway up? Okay, we're, we're going, we're moving. But I like this. This is a nice, uh, this is a nice little cool ride. Kind of just like, as I said, the kamikaze before it, or uh, the uh, rangers. Look at that! That is one huge loop. Or is that an Immelman? Is that a diving? I'm not entirely sure, but we get to see straight up into what this building is. And it just looks spectacular with the lighting. I mean, props to you, man. Or lady. Props to you. Because you had a lot of patience creating this place, and I appreciate it. So, thank you. Thank you so very much. And, oh yeah, there we go! We had, like, two frames a second! Yes! <laughs> and, oh! We're upside down! I think we're all the way at the top! Oh, this is great! Are we going over? Are we going over? You can do it! You can do it! Yes! Yes, we have actually gone all the way over! Oh, that was awesome! 
it's just so much more exciting with slow frame rate because <laughs> you don't know if you actually have made it yet or if it's still part of the pre-flipping warm-up. <laughs> are over there to the left of us. Oh, what a good time. And we get, you know, another great look. I think that's a drop for the roller coaster that's just in front of us. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks great. And oh, here we go. Yes. Another quick little speed boost right there. Oh, so good. Oh, is our ride over? That was a fun ride. I mean, if it is indeed over. We got to go upside down, I think it was twice. So that's a good thing. But let's 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 see. Maybe maybe we're going to get a little bit more excitement. Because maybe uh, they just wanted to switch and go the opposite direction. I think that's what's happening. Nope. I'm wrong. Of course I'd be wrong. But again, that's just the brilliantness of how sometimes you can kind of make do with just what you have. And to me, again, I get to play the game. It looks great. And wow, we're still flipping pretty high. But I, I think we're, we're done. Um, so, I mean, we get to see the world in a little bit different of perspective. Um, it would look much different if this was sped up, which I am going to put in in post. Um, you won't have any sound effects, though, so that would be a little bit bad. Just because, well, I guess I, uh, I don't know. I might be able to do something with that. And, wait a minute. Yes, we flipped all the way around again. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was fun. I am very pleased with that. Oh, oh, we're going back up. Yes. Do we get to flip again? Come on, come on, come on. Let us flip, let us flip. I think we're flipping again. I think we're flipping again. Awesome! Oh, it's so good when you get to, you know, flip and you get to see, like, two frames in a second. Oh, it's wonderful. So again, when you watch these other YouTube channels, kind of like uh, Channel 5, I just am amazed at the how detailed these parks can be. Especially a park like this, where the main thing is this huge complex, all built piece by piece. And, oh, oh, did we flip again? Yes! But, there are parks that are out there that are actually... I mean, this has a lot of little nice detail work from what I've been able to see. We're going to be able to see a lot more, I'm guessing, on the roller coaster. But that's the beauty of it. That is what makes this so great. Is that it is such a community type of a thing. You get to see what other people are creating. And I just can't praise this world enough. So thank you, whoever you are. I think it was uh, Fu Films, Fuji Films, not Fuji Films, but Fu Films. I think it was. Real great job. We might be done with this attraction pretty soon. I mean, uh, we are on the uh, final little steps 
of the uh, rocking, which is always a little bit of a bummer when you're on the actual type of attraction in the real world. I just love the being able to flip and it's just a nice feeling when you get to do things that are normally not in your wheelhouse. So it's an awful fun thing. It's, even in a simulation game like this, it's still very exciting. So, wow. Great job. Okay, so, looks like we're on the final stretches here of this attraction, and is it just me, or does off in the distance over there, does that look like the Hollywood Tower Hotel to you? Just, just leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Because that, that's been kind of bothering me for about... I don't know, the last ten minutes while we've been on this attraction. I'm just like, it looks awfully familiar over there. And if that is a recreation of the Hollywood Tower Hotel, bravo. Bravo. <laughs> okay. So it looks like we're now coming to a complete and utter halt. I think we still have just to uh, lower a little bit, and uh, we're all done. So that was a very fun attraction, I think. Uh, I think that was worth us uh, doing. And this is probably way too long for <laughs> most people on YouTube, but... It was uh, nothing but fun for me so far, but I think right after this we have to get onto that coaster, and I have no idea how to get to it from the ground, so I'm just going to do it the best way that I know how. Alright, uh, we are out of here, the harness has come off, so yes, we made it through, we did it folks, we're alive! Oh, such a good feeling to to not have to just get stuck in the... Oh, no. No, no, no. Not another one. I said we, we went out. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's much better. Whew. Yes, there we go. That it. It's actually open. open.
Uh, as I said, I don't know how to get to this coaster. I'm just going to click it open. Alright. I mean, they placed the entrance, they placed the exit. They haven't connected the entrance yet, though, to the path? Alright, let's go into test mode because apparently that's the only thing that is open to us. And uh, we're going to go right over here, click on the camera. Now, I myself, I always go with the track view just because there are these hands that just get stuck in your face. And I go, why are you people always touching your face with your hands? It makes no sense. And why are you like blocking where you're going as you're on the roller coaster? You want to see where you're going, don't you? Well, I mean, I guess not, because they generally don't do it. <laughs> or they generally do it a lot. Like, every single time they go down a hill, they're like that. So, welcome, welcome, welcome to Track View, where we don't have hands in the way. The floor just rose, which is, from what I understand, a good thing. Okay, yep, we're on the front bumper, so that's good. Okay, the uh, gates are closing. Um, this kind of looks like a floorless roller coaster, which um, I myself have uh, ridden uh, a fair amount of, and usually you want the gate to be open in order for it to be of any type of enjoyment. But maybe I'm... Uh, but uh, maybe we're not yet ready for that type of thing. Okay, I'm hearing some noises. Those noises just... They may be in my head. I don't know. I sometimes do hear things. But that to me sounds like the harnesses have gone. Yep, the floor is going. Which means that the gates will be opening. And we're on our way. Yes! I'm excited about this coaster. Let's enjoy this together. And uh, just like with the other attractions, I am going to put in a sped up version um, thanks to the wonderful um, editing in post. So here we go. I think. Anytime. Yes, lovely. Alright, so this uh, this actually does seem a little bit more uh, sci-fi-ish. 
Um, it may still be a military, not a military, an industrial complex, um, but it has more of a space station type of feel to me at the moment. I actually uh, was not too aware that uh, a lift chain could actually turn, but uh, that is pretty nice that it can. Well, um, it looks like uh, some sort of, uh, yes, it is a hatch. Open the, oh my goodness, what has happened, what has happened? It looks like we may have accidentally uh, triggered something. Um, this may not be a good thing for us. Um, it it kind of seems like uh, warnings are going off all over the place. Um, I almost definitely feel as though this is more supposed to be like some sort of space station type of thing right now. Um, mainly because of that uh, light that's going up and down. I'm not entirely sure if that is supposed to be um, a type of warning. But just look at this intricateness that we have going on here. All of these lights. Wow. It, uh, again, what, what is that thing over there? Is that, is that supposed to be like some sort of like a piston? I mean, this right here just feels so very like, um, like a, kind of like a, the original test track almost, um, as you're going through the, uh, heat rays in order to simulate, uh, the environmental conditions. <laughs> Wow, it, I mean, and all these, all this area is now just lighting up, all because we're coming into it, so there must be some triggered events going on, and it's just phenomenal, and, okay, the lights are going out again, crap, um, <laughs> so it, it's, it's got that, uh, very space station-y type of feel to it, and it also, to me, kind of, uh, reminds me of Alien Inn? In a sense, and no, oh my. This is a long lift, isn't this? I mean, right now, I mean, I don't know how far up we are, but I think we started about three minutes ago, so we're doing good. And is that like some sort of um, uh, fission reactor? Uh, reactor? Uh, the Hadron Collider, or whatever they call that, uh, over there on the left, I mean, some sort of tube with, like, catheter rays or uh, wiring. It just looks really cool. I kind of wish that we were going up that. It'd be pretty spiffy, actually. But this is still a really awesome-looking area. And, okay, there's some sort of little itty-bitty, uh light that's pointing directly at us. I don't know if that is supposed to be pointing at us. I don't know what that really does. Um, I myself haven't really played around too much with the actual editing tools for the game. I've utilized a couple of triggers before, so I understand how they work, but I don't know exactly like what this little spotlight is that's like shining directly at us. And that warning light is still going up and down this area. As you can see right here, here it comes. I mean, it's just spectacular. Just what you're able to do with this. It's really, really well done. as you're going up the lift hill for the Incredible Hulk coaster? I don't know. But it is extremely well done. Oh my. 
Look at that little robot thing. It, it almost kind of looks like a satellite. Just kind of spinning right there. That is really cool. Very cool. Good job. <laughs> wow. See you later, little spinning sp satellite dude. Or would it be a dudette? I think that machines are supposed to be girls, right? I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure, though, that the machines are supposed to be girls and... Okay, we're going up more? How far up can we go? And, oh my. That looks like we go up more. Hey, Gulpy, ladies and gentlemen, over on our right. Gulpy. This ride is sponsored by Gulpy, um, the official um, soda slash fountain drink of the uh, Planet Coaster, um, well, brand. And, oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> so apparently, that spot we were completely and utterly flipped upside down, and we're going straight down. Oh my goodness. This is huge. Oh my. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, if you actually could watch this end as quick as possible, which um, I am going to be speeding this up again, just to, to remind you um, after we're done, but man, this is kind of vertigo inducing. Well played. Well played for films. Yes. Okay, so I think that we were on some sort of like space station, and the whole place is just going up in flames. I don't know why they are, but um, we're still falling. So, um, you guys want to play the like 20 questions? No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But that is the entry game. We've got explosions, we have some sort of warning lights. That is awesome. And holy cow, this is really claustrophobic. Oh, wow! This is an awesome view! Maybe we can get a view of that first Oh my goodness, I think we're doing two frames a second! Whoa, we might be doing like five. Oh, that is great! And look at this. The track was sliding up like crazy. Oh, this is spectacular! This is what a roller coaster is like, folks. I mean, wow. This is what a roller coaster should be like. <laughs> I mean, so far it's been fairly smooth. I mean, going this with this type of frame rate, you'd be able to tell whether or not the track is smooth. But just look at this. We are so high up. Oh my goodness, the, the towers are lighting up. Oh, wow! As we're going past, things are letting up. Oh my goodness, more explosions. The Ferris wheel is just having a great old time over there. Nice Ferris wheel, see you later. But, wow! Look at all of these explosions. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! 
some more explosions. Wait, are those explosions are that fire. Holy cow. This is great. We're definitely seeing more of the city, I can tell you that. Uh, just by or space station. Just by this as we are on this coaster. I'm not entirely sure how they're doing most of these effects, but this is great. Oh, oh, oh. Going up right past this little thing, walkway. I think it's a walkway.
Wow, just so much detail has gone into this, I, I just could not get a good phrase. Utterly spectacular. Okay, I think this is the station coming up here. Yes, it is. So, what did you folks think? Well, I'm pretty sure that you folks are going to feel much better with the uh, sped up version. <laughs> wow, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. I hope you folks did too. So we're almost back at the station. Whew, what a fantastic ride. Real glad that we got to ride that in its entirety. Sorry if uh, you hear any type of like thunking. Just trying to place the microphone back uh, where it was. Wow, that was great. Thanks for sharing that with me, folks. That's a that's a coaster uh, that uh, if were to be built, to be built by Disney, I'm pretty certain because whoo -hoo, there's so much detail that went into that thing. And there you have it, folks. <laughs>
I hope that you enjoyed the park. Um, I really enjoyed it. The only thing that I have to say is just try not to have 10,000 guests in your park. It, it does make it go a little bit slower than uh, what you would think. Um, so I'm going to just try to do this as a little uh, closing thing because uh, I, I need to see if that was the Hollywood Tower Hotel. I think it was over here. Okay, that was fun. I got to rename a piece. exactly where this place was. Okay, so over that way is towards the Ferris wheel. So then over this way is the Ranger. Then down over here would be the tower, if it is. And now that I'm seeing it from afar, it doesn't really look like it, but let's go up close. We'll find out. Here we go! Whoosh! And right now I don't care, we're going through. <laughs> Out of time anymore. We don't have time. Actually... That's a pretty good representation if it was. Oh no. Not again. Definitely not to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Darn, that would have been kind of cool. But from a distance. Actually, go back. Go back. This little piece here, this thing right here, it's pretty similar. It's not it, but it's, it's pretty similar. Okay, so that is uh, going to be it, I think, for this crazy, crazy long episode. Wow. <laughs> so, we ended with uh, my um, insane rantings about how this could be the Tower of Terror um, when we came to check out this uh, theme park. So, excellent job, everybody. Keep up the good work with uh, making sure that I am not completely and utterly bat bleep crazy. But, uh, that's... I, I can see how I myself would confuse that slightly with the Hollywood Tower Hotel. But upon really, you know, actually looking at it, it's not even remotely close. It's similar. I do really like the Hollywood Tower Hotel, though, so... If anybody does find one of those, please tell me. I want to see it. And, uh, so 
So I think that's about all that we really have for you folks. I want to thank you for watching with me for this long. And, uh, yeah, so we uh, still need to give out a little bit of a shout-out. I believe it's to Foo Films for this uh, beautiful, beautiful park. And I just had a really good time with you folks. I mean, it's been almost an hour and a half, if not uh, about an hour and 40 minutes. Um, it's going to be about two hours with uh, the edited, uh, quicker versions of the attractions in this. So I'm going to split it up into two parts. So, actually, you guys don't care because it's already going to happen. Ha 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 ha. But I think that this was well worth it um, to at least do for one time. I might do it again with another park, but uh, we might have to limit it down to approximately 20 minutes. But if you guys like it, I thank you so very much. Um, but to all of you creators out there, create. Show me what you have. Even if it's in super slow motion, I will go. I will look at it. Because I believe that your parks, your coasters, your little almost nature reserves should be looked at. Your cities. This is a brilliant almost city. It, it's like a little, uh, you know, like a space colony. It, it's really cool. So show me those. I want to see them. I don't care about frame rate, as you can quite clearly see. Would it be nice to have faster frame rate? Of course, as you could tell when uh, we very briefly had a couple of uh, like two frames a second, or I think we even had maybe one five frame a second. That was great. So, again, thank you for watching all this with me. And please, if you want to see more extremely slow motion stuff shoot them over to me the theme park evaluator Joseph Gregory Paycheck I will look at them I can't guarantee that is going to bring any type of specialty to uh, a special eye to your park I can't guarantee that I really would be able to review it all too well but I will do what I can. And that is all that anybody really can truly say. It is your theme park. You build it as you want. I say my little opinion as to what I think about it. Yes, here we go. This is it, um, Return to Zero Park. It is uh, indeed by Foo Films. So here's a uh, Foo Films workshop, and uh, they've got in, uh, quite a few parks here. Uh, we got uh, well, yeah, we have a the Pulse. Uh, Return to Zero Park, which was the one that we just looked at. We have Sci-Fi City Park. That might be pretty cool. And Alien City Park. Also sounds pretty cool. So I think that uh, these are going to be pretty darn awesome. Uh, we might uh, do more stuff from uh, Foo Films. But uh, they seem to be really good. Um, and you folks have done a really good job. So thank you. Thank you for placing out uh, that wonderful Return to Zero Park. And everybody... 